So today our task is to do API testing of Flipkart. So for this, first of all, we have to create own JSON server just like Flipkart, and this can be done using our terminal. So here we will first create a JSON server. For that, we need to create own directory. So let's start with nkdir flip. Cart API API. Now we will go to that folder CD. Cart API. Now we have we have to create a one dot JSON file dot dot JSON. Now we have to do entries in our JSON file. So for that we will we will use command nano dv dot json. So we are here we have to do. So for entering the data, first of all we have to keep in the mind whatever the task we are assigned with. For example, we have to include all these attributes in our JSON folder. Uh, that is product ID, product name, category, brand. Price, discount, availability, ratings, review, specs, etc. So we have to include all these attributes in our JSON file. So for let's start now with entering our JSON data. So here we will start with entering our data. So let's start entering data in our JSON API. So first of all, we have to create this. Now what are the attributes? Let's start entering the attributes in our JSON file. So now these are the attributes. Let's start. Product. Product name. We have to add all the attributes similarly. So we will add all the required details. Then we will hit to the save save the file. So for that we will press Ctrl S. Ctrl S. Then we will hit Y yes. And the it will also file name to add in. Then we will hit enter. Now our JSON JSON file is set. Now we have to run this our JSON server. For that we will use this command npx json server json server db dot json now our json file has been it can now store data and retrieve the data so now we can start our postman testing of all this data now we will paste our API link in this JSON server and get request then if we hit on the send, send button it will generate all the data whatever we have posted in our JSON API now we have to create test scripts so first of all we have to start creating test script one by one I have already created it and this can be done using the bots here, here it is bot open post bot and whatever prompt you will give, it will generate the test script as 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 you need. And and here I, I have added all the test scripts. That is first of the test scripts will be required test scripts. For example, in our assignment, in our assignment we have we are asked to do this status code validation, response time validation, data data type, and mandatory field valid validation, unique ID validation. 
range value is present and add a length thermal wire or whatever we have to create as it is in our postman using this postcode and this will generate the test scripts now hit on the send button so let's check our results so here you can see the all all test results have been passed and one last tenth test case was to check of error handling so let's check that for that i have written a error handling test script just by using the test code but for that we uh, we have to create one false invalid link so for that i have uh, entered random random input in get request so if now we send it and it, it is not found and it can generate this error handling that is for zero for not found and it is passed now for let's deep dive into the test scripts whatever we have written so for this you don't need to worry about so much about knowing the code or whatever you have just you can all these codes can be generated using this test boards here you click, click on and it, it ask to write a for example write test create uh, for checking status code for checking status status code and to start generating so here it has start it is uh, generated the test code script so for similarly you can uh, add every whatever scripts whatever we want since in this case uh, we have multiple uh, validation to pass so we have entered one by one all these test scripts and uh, we have got this test script generated using the board so similarly we can do what for whatever test scripts we have we have one and this is status score for example 200 it is just showing whether our link is reachable or not this is this is HTTP status code it means okay and similarly there is HTTP status code 201 and that is for the our data entry is succeeded for example if we have posted any data then it will show huh? yes it is now data is, data is created similarly the next test script is for response time validation so here we have uh, a created 800 millisecond that uh, our post must uh, function in below 800 millisecond so it must give us response in below 800 millisecond time now the another test test script for data type validation whether whether the ratings is in strings or not or equal to numbers for example in our in our assignment the it is has been asked for validating with a ensure that rating fall between 0 to 5 so it must be fall between that particular that particular script for example it means the rating must be 0 to 5 another thing is mandatory field verification the it is for product id and product name and product price whatever it must be unique unique id validation running another again it is for product id for example one samsung product is listed in flipkart so it must have its a unique product id and is for and if it is not unique then it will be messed up so it is always assigned unique product id to distinguish between various pro pro products now another is review errors and in our day in our assignment we have given that in array it must store string entries only so we similarly we have added the, the test script to ensure that same thing is happen availability status check and in availability status check it is clearly mentioned that it must only check whether it in in stock and out of stock not a, another any any other in entry so similarly we have written the availability status code check logic and another is discount logic discount logic in our assignment it is mentioned that it must have a, 0, 0 to 100 uh, percent discount matlab it, it must start from 0 percent discount 10 20 30 percent but not beyond 100 percent less than 100 percent similarly we have added that then the last is error handling error handling for that we have to create a false invalid link so that it can go to 404 not found error and then it must also for that we have included one invalid endpoint or whatever anything we if we added in last uh, after the after 300 slash 
and and it is not available then it will give, give 4 0 for error and if it give 4 0 for error then our error and the test case is passed I have attached all this data in our in this uh, word file that is how uh, how we have started this JSON server each and every aspect is mentioned in this word file for example whatever JSON data we have created this how to how did we set up the JSON server and what what is the code we have written for testing our API and uh, the test cases we assumed and what what where the result is whether it passed or failed and attach the screenshot to and whatever observation we faced or challenges we faced everything is mentioned in this word file I will be attaching this word file in the description section thank you